Today we've got fossilized coral from either Florida or Georgia or both. I'm not 100% sure. So this stuff uh, was sent to me by um, a guy named Jim uh, that I know from the Rock Tumbling Hobby Forum. Uh, and he picks his stuff up in rivers in Georgia. Well, he's from Georgia, but I know he goes down to Florida sometimes to pick it up also. So anyhow, yeah, let's scooch her back here a little bit and take a few peeks at some of these. So you can see the coral pattern in there. A little bit. Over here. So what's cool about this is you get these different colors. Well, let me get a rough piece that hasn't been tumbled yet. Here's one. So you can see that it's coral when you look at it like this. Uh, but when you cut into it, it looks like that. And a lot of this has been heat treated. Uh, I don't know how much of this has been heat treated, if it's all or just some of it. But you see you got this outer, uh, more porous white crust on it. And then the good stuff's on the inside. But when you get a little bit of that crust left down there, and I probably over tumbled these, I have a tendency to do that. Uh, you get a little of that white crust left down there, it looks pretty cool. And get that to focus. There we go. And apparently, uh, depending on where you get this um, from different rivers uh, and you heat treat it, it turns different colors. Nice little piece. I know uh, another YouTuber named Wild Kyle goes out hunting for this stuff. I've seen some of his videos where he looks for this. So maybe he'll chime in here and tell us what he knows about it. I know Jim, who sent this to me, uh, said that the Native Americans in that area would nap this to make arrowheads and other tools. I guess there's places where you can find where they napped it and there'll be little chips laying all over the ground. A little fracture in that one. Let's not look at that side. Let's look at this side. It's kind of neat. So when I think of fossil coral, I think of Petoskey stones, which look completely different than these. Except once in a while, let me grab a Petoskey stone. Once in a while you get one like that. That has, I don't think that's focusing. It has a little more of those hexagon, there we go. Hexagons on there like Petoskey stones, so. Let's see if I can find another one like that. I know there's a few in here with those. Here's one, shows them really well. Nice piece. But then other pieces just sort of seem plain like this. Where you don't see those hexagons at all. It's a nice one.
kind of neat with the pastel colors, the white. darker piece, I like that. So here's another piece that uh, hasn't been tumbled and I probably won't tumble it just because it's a cool specimen like this. But uh, Jim wrote me a little message I'm not sure how he knows that it's denser than my head. Maybe if my head wasn't so dense, I'd know. Cool stuff. Little slivers. I've seen Jim uh, break this up for tumbling and uh, focus. And when he breaks it up, he has like a little ball peen hammer, just a little tiny hammer. He just holds the stuff in his hands and just chips off little flakes. Kind of like he's napping it, but he tries to get little bigger flakes that you're going to be able to do something with, not just little tiny things. All right, there's the rest of them. I think we get the idea. There's one. Ooh, glad I didn't miss that one. Let's get that thing to focus. There we go. Isn't that cool? Alright, let's call that good. So I'll see you next Tuesday.